In this clip we're going to be looking at inequalities and how they're represented on graphs. Let's start with a very simple one. Uh, here we have the line x equals 2 drawn on the graph for us. It's a vertical line, all the x coordinates are 2 and so the line x equals 2 is that one. Now say we want to represent the inequality x is more than 2, well quite often you might be asked to shade it and if you were asked to do that you'd shade everything to the right of that line. But here I'm going to do it not by shading but by just bringing those whole number points which are on the right hand side of that line. Uh, integer points me means that both the coordinates of each of these points are whole numbers and this would be uh, showing integer points. Now it's everywhere to the right of that line. Obviously it goes on to infinity in those two directions but here's a, just a representation of a small part of that region. If now I wanted to represent the region y is more than or equal to uh, 1, uh, then I would uh, do it by starting off with the line y equals 1. Now if the y value is more than 1, it's going to be points above the line. So if we have a look at what that is, uh, it's all those points going to infinity but here's just a section of that region. Notice one important difference between this one and the last one. Because we have the all equal bit, then whole number points along the line are included. So we draw those. The previous example, they weren't included because we didn't have the all equals bit. Now, what happens if we put the two regions together at the same time? Well, we're just narrowing down our region uh, to this sort of top right-hand corner. All of the points along here obey the rule that x is more than 2 and y is more than or equal to 1. And all these whole number points obey that rule. Now let's look at a, a more complicated region, one where we tie the x and the y together. If we were to draw the line x plus y is less is equal to 9, then we would be drawing this line here. But we want our x and y points to be less than or equal to 9. Now, which side of the line do we draw our points? It's going to be one side or the other. Well, all we have to do is look at one point and see if it's inside or outside the region. I think the simplest one to choose is naught naught. Now naught plus naught, that's very definitely less than 9. So naught naught is in the region. Now if there's one point here, then they're all going to be there. And that's the region x plus y is less than or equal to 9. Notice that along the line they're included because we have the all equal sign. If we got rid of the all equals, then, the line, then along the line it wouldn't be included. Now, let's include our other two regions so that we've got three regions working at the same time. And we've now narrowed it down to quite a small triangle of points where each, each point represents all, well, obeys all three rules. This point here, the x value is more than 2, the y value is more than 1, and the x plus y value is less than 9. So here we can draw a region where there are only a few, in this case 15 integer points, and we can change it, narrow it down or broaden it out again to see different regions represented by this inequality. Now here we have a difficult, slightly more tricky uh, example. Suppose we were asked to represent the inequality x minus y less than 2. Well, if we draw the line x minus y equals 2, we get that one. But we have to decide which side of the line our points are. The temptation is to say that they're below because of the less than symbol. But that's not always the case. And this shows that you really must be quite cautious. So let's take a point below the line and see if it actually is in the region. The point 5 naught is there. 5 naught is, well, 5 minus naught 
is 5, and that's very definitely not less than 2. So let's look at a point the other side, probably the easiest one, is 0, 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Now 0 is less than 2. So, in fact, the region is above the line. And so you must remember that uh, you have to test and, and, and look at points to check which side of a line your inequality is. Sometimes it's pretty obvious, but sometimes, like this, you have to be careful. Now, let's add in another couple of regions. If we add in the region x greater than or equal to 3, we're sort of wedging, we've got a wedge of points like this, uh, with all the points along the line x equals 3 included this time. And let's look at a third region. Third region y less than 5, that narrows it down to 6 integer points only. Now, that sort of thing is quite a common exam question, and you would be asked to uh, write the coordinates of all the points that obey the three inequalities together, in which case you would just look at these points and write down their coordinates to get your answer to that sort of question. Now, regions are often infinite ones, going, from, uh, going down to plus or minus infinity, uh, but sometimes when you draw two or three lines, uh, you can narrow it down. And quite often, as in this case, three lines will give you a triangle of points, uh, and that will just be a small number of points involved in that region. If you've got this question, which is probably slightly more complex than you would get in a GCSE exam, but if you've got that, then this would be the solution, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 integer points included in this region, and they'd ask you uh, to write down the coordinates of those.